Some of you might not be familiar with the brand Poach Pickleball, but I'm telling you right now, stay tuned because they're definitely making a name for themselves. Now Poach is a brand out of Victoria, BC, so I'm not gonna lie, we've got a bit of a soft spot for them. Canadian, British Columbian, I'm sure you can understand why. But it's not just their story that we like. A few months back, I wrote an article about Pickleball's hidden gems, and in that article, I referenced Poach's first generation Defender, Havoc, and Podium line. At $150, those paddles represented extremely good value for money, but they weren't quite competitive with the industry's top, top end. Now Poach has taken a huge step in the right direction with the 2.0 because they've added T700 carbon to the top sheets. They've raised the price from $150 to $200, but have improved it leaps and bounds compared to the 1.0 line that was already very good. They've scrapped the Defender line, leaving us with a Havoc and a Podium shape in a power and control series. Now, as you might expect, the power is thinner coming in at 13 millimeters and the control is thicker at 16 millimeters. Both these paddles are extended, but the Havoc, which is the one I'm holding here, has a longer handle, which makes room for a two-handed backhand and just makes for a slightly quicker paddle speed. This shape is right up my alley, so I'll be reviewing the Havoc today, but if you like something like a Selkirk Invicta shape, the podium will be perfect for you. Now remember, if any of what I say here intrigues you, we do have a demo program in store, or you can check out these paddles on our website at racketsandrunners.ca, and please remember to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below what you would want me to review next and if you've tried poach paddles before. Also, there's gonna be some footage coming up and if you see some really weird looking points, just know that it was one of the windiest and blusteriest day I've ever experienced on court with any racket sport. So the ball was definitely doing some pretty wild stuff. But enough about that, let's get into it. Let's start with feel because that's always a good way to get the ball rolling. Now the original Havoc Power was actually the same thickness as the current and previous control at 16 millimeters, but it had a fiberglass top sheet. And because fiberglass is more brittle and more poppy, that's why they could call that one the power. But carbon has so many benefits that it was a bit of a no brainer to switch to carbon on the 2.0. I did like the original Havoc Power, but there was a bit of a disconnect between the thick core and then the brittle feel of that fiberglass that I made for an almost springy sensation that's completely gone now. With this 13 millimeter core, it still feels very poppy, but a little bit more instantly reactive. It compares closest to the carbon one 13 millimeter paddles, although I have to say it's noticeably more forgiving and plush than those paddles. The difference between the original and the 2.0 controls isn't as stark as the difference between the powers, but it is still a noticeable improvement. The T700 carbon is softer and more stable and just generally provides a better feel for the ball. Again, there's a similar sensation here to other 16 millimeter paddles that have a T700 carbon top sheet, but I did find it to be a little bit less hollow than some other paddles out there as a very addictive and plush feel. And I think a lot of that comes down to the core that Poach is using. A good core is at the heart of any stable paddle and both the Havoc Power and Control excel at stability, especially for their respective thicknesses. Now, obviously with its thicker core, the control is just gonna be a little bit more stable than the power. Poach claims that the core they're using here is stronger than some of their competitors. And while I don't fully understand what strength means in this context, it definitely could be referring to stability. The sweet spot on both these paddles is noticeably bigger and more forgiving than what I would call the industry standard. The paddle stayed very firm and stable when I was countering an opponent's harder paced shots both when I was at the net and when we were exchanging from the baseline. I love paddles like this because they are so solid. Now solidity might not be as sexy or as marketable as something like spinner power, but it's so important to give you a consistent response so that you know exactly what you're getting from your paddle, especially when points get tight. I still wouldn't say either the Havoc Power or the Control are as stable as something like a Benjon CFS 16 millimeter, which to me is kind of the gold standard for stability in the industry, but they're definitely up there with some of Pickleball's best. And I really hope that Poach keeps on focusing on developing this core because they're definitely onto a winner and a good core is what separates a good paddle from a great one. The Havoc Power only weighs 7.8 ounces, so it's definitely on the lighter side for this style of paddle, but it is still quite powerful, as you would expect from something with this name and with this thin of a core. It's noticeably more powerful than the previous one, mainly because it has gotten thinner. Still, if Poach wants to make this truly competitive with the most powerful paddles out there, they are going to have to up that static weight a little bit. That being said, 
A paddle this light is perfect for customization, especially for those of you who know they want to weight it up to a certain spec, this could be the perfect paddle for you. The control is eight ounces, which is heavier than the power and ironically helps boost its power, but I do still think that the power is more powerful than the control. Power, power, control, control, power, 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 control, control, power, confusing. It's still less powerful because of how much energy is lost in dwell time because of that thicker and softer core. Now compared to other 16 millimeter paddles, I would say it's pretty standard, although I do think that it could definitely do again with a little bit more weight to help bump it up a little bit more from a power standpoint. Going back to stability real quick, bumping up that static weight wouldn't just help with power, it would also boost stability a little bit. And considering how stable they are already, I can't even imagine how good they would become if they were a little bit heavier. When it comes to T700 carbon top sheets, we kind of know the story already. They are fantastic for amplifying a paddle spin potential. Not only is the surface gritty, but it also has a way of grabbing onto the ball during pocketing, which seems to shoot it out with loads of spin when it exits. Spin production is great on the Havoc Power, but again, a bit of weight in the head would help push it even farther. Spin is marginally lower on the control, but that's just because thicker paddles naturally produce less spin. They're thicker, so they're less aerodynamic, and the ball loses a bit more energy on dwell time, so that's that, but it's still really good, as you would expect from anything with this top sheet. Should I mention adding weight again? Nah, probably not, you get the point. I have to say, even though the Havoc Power has gotten three millimeters thinner than its predecessor, it's still way better for control, and that's pretty much testament to how much better carbon is than fiberglass. It really comes down to that improved feel for the ball. I'm just way more connected with this top sheet, even if the core was thicker on the previous version. Now, plush control for dinking isn't the best on the Havoc Power because it is so thin, but if you're looking for that style of paddle, you're probably more interested in the Havoc Control anyway. It's a fantastic control paddle, one of the best that I've tried. Because it's a little bit on the lighter side, it's got great maneuverability, which just makes it very easy to manage around the net. Also, because that sweet spot is a little bit bigger and more plush, it's got a slightly bigger margin for error than a lot of other paddles with this shape. I'm really impressed with the huge improvements that Poach made developing the 2.0. They're competitive with pretty much everything else out there on the market, and if they did want to make as big an improvement going to the 3.0 as they did coming from the 1.0, they would pretty much have to reinvent the pickleball wheel. Poach is onto something really special with this core, and I think they gotta keep chipping away at it if they wanna make an even bigger name for themselves in the future. But for now, these are awesome paddles, and if you wanna try any of them, come visit us in store or check them out online at racketsandrunners.ca.